forehead of the heart. Please make contact. Move the bell. Touch one of us. Okay, let's just move your hands, take your hands away for a second and let's concentrate on the mirrors now. Let's do something else just to shift the energy. Okay, what I want you to do is first of all just wiggle your hands a bit and your feet because we don't want you to, okay? Everybody back with us fully? Yeah? Okay. Right, just pick up the mirror and just take it off its stand. Okay, if it just comes off there. Okay, some of you, oh, some have got fixed stands, don't worry, just hold it up. <laughs> just want to break the mirror there. Okay, now what I want you to do is to hold it in front of your face. You might have to lower it a little bit so you can see because you need to use the light from the candle. A, a dullish light is quite good for this. And I want you to stare into your own eyes, trying to blink as little as you possibly can, and fix that stare. Now remember, the eyes are the windows to the soul, and this is essentially what you're doing. You're contacting your own soul. What you're looking for is a change in your face. It'll give you a message. Could be yourself from a former life or an image of a guide. Look only at your eyes. Don't look anywhere else in the mirror. Concentrate solely on your eyes. Look straight into the mirror, straight through the mirror, really. Anyone getting anything? Any changes? Try not to concentrate on it. Don't stare if you know, like you're looking for something. It's kind of like, you know those 3D pictures you get? Stare through it. Stare beyond it. Stare beyond the image. Sometimes this happens just for flash. Something unusual. Yeah? Just a flash. It's just like those 3D pictures, isn't it? And you look away, you've lost it. Yeah. Don't worry, come back. What did you see? Um, the face just went very red. Mm -hmm. so. Your own face? Does it still look like your own face? No. Good. You're a Taurus, aren't you? Yes. Okay. That's significant. <laughs> Tell me what else you see around that face. Let's go with your intuition. Um, a moustache. A what? A moustache. Okay. All right. If you just put your mirrors down for me now, just put them flat if that's easier. Okay. We're just going to come out of the sense now. Pull your arms away. I'll withdraw the energy. And remember, everything stays in this room. Nothing will follow you home. Nothing can follow you home. The space is protected. Okay, everybody back with us? Everybody fully conscious? Is yeah? Everybody happy? Everybody okay? content? Yeah? Everybody happy to leave it there? Okay, it's thank been you. It's quite unique. It's a unique sense because we've had transfiguration as well. We've got all of the measure, all of the meters uh, hooked up, which means we're going to have a lot of analysis, see if anything came through while the sense was going on. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're going to 
we're actually going to go back to David now in the hub. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed, Kieran. Thank you for doing that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is the climax of our three nights. Please, will you welcome our investigation team, in particular, Yvette Fielding and Derek Okora. Absolutely fantastic uh, to see you back here on night three, the end of our investigation. So much has happened, really. How did you feel? Very quickly, how did you feel about tonight? Very, very bizarre. The whole place is very strange. It deserves a thorough, sort of like a 24-hour constant surveillance. There's so much, many things went on there. People being touched, you know, uh, the boxes that moved on their own, the EMF meter was going off. It's a really active place. Very and, active. and what about you, Derek? Well, the variety this evening was like a fever pitch in that castle because it was such a mixture yeah. of differences, wasn't it? Yeah, and that, those spirit people were trying hard. Well, I thought the stuff you picked up was fantastic. Have a look at what happened tonight. Okay. Maria, Maria, she's mine. She's a stand whether you like that or not. She's my good lady, lady, wife. I'm the father and I will be the father of this child. We've all been together, no one's been messing about, and those boxes were on top of this, of this table here. There was nothing in the way here. They have been moved. Something's grabbing me, eh? You're right. You're shaking, yeah, I think. I know. I'm, I'm sweaty. I'm absolutely... <laughs> oh, God! It's all right, Timmy. It's OK. Carl, where are you? Are you part of the webcam, Carl? Carl, answer yeah. me back now. We've just had stuff thrown down from the yeah. steps. Yeah. We've just come out and make sure what was happening. Then all of a sudden, and it was, it was just, just being slow. We're not just dropping down gently. We're just being slow. Yeah, hey, listen, did you hear that above again? Yeah, hey, what's been thrown on the floor? It's we don't know, there's just stones where. It's Can like, you see it? Yeah. Bits yeah. of plaster on the floor. Just it was. Yeah. <gasps> oh, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, Anne. Oh, 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 oh